Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the reaction video where today we're going to be reacting to Patrick Bateman vs Sweeney Todd uh, rap battle uh, from Freshy Canal featuring Mr. Penny and Little Flex and Maggie Elise? Elise? I don't know. Uh, so I've heard of obviously Stupendium and Little Flex before. Um, and I've not heard of, of, of Maggie Elzy. But anyway, talking about the rap, talking about the rap battle coming up at least, we've got Patrick Bateman vs Sweeney Todd now. Patrick Bateman is obviously from American Psycho, one of my all-time favourite films. And Sweeney Todd is a Tim Burton film. Um, my girlfriend maybe watched it with her. And I was very sceptical because I knew it was a musical and musical for things aren't really my thing. But if you are not into musicals, as many people uh, in this audience probably are, are not quite into, I would recommend it for you. That's coming from someone who still hates musicals. It is just a good film to watch. Um, yeah, Johnny Depp is amazing. And that kind of makes me think of that. Um, if I had to guess, Maggie Elsie would be playing... I can't remember her name, but the woman who makes the pies in it. The meat pies. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess that Stupendium is playing... Well, it was on the actual thing, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, yeah, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. This is uh, Patrick Bateman vs. Me, told by Freshly Canal. I I enjoy Frosty Canals videos, so uh, let's just get straight into it, guys. Waste no time. Make sure you subscribe. I didn't say in the intro as well, but obviously the connection here between these two is uh, they're both a little bit uh, psychopathic, I would say. Already we have got this, a callback to the scene in American Psycho when they're comparing kind of business cards. I can't remember the exact business card phrases they were using, but uh, yeah, that looks kind of like the one Patrick Bateman was using. There's an old in a world in a fake bread pit. So yeah, we've got a Stupendium playing uh, Sweeney Todd, which is what I was trying to say in the intro, uh, which I expected. Uh, it kind of fits into it very well. There's an old in a world and a fake bread pit putting holes in the girls with them slap. Yep, that is basically American Psycho. Um, yeah, obviously Patrick Bateman's targets were kind of like homeless people and, but mainly women basically I even split cause there's holes in his brain that no payment could fix and he goes by the name of Bayman <laughs> this of a broker couldn't sell his persona this is a really good uh, scene this looks kind of exactly like the room cause obviously in the um, sorry I knocked my mic over um, in Sweeney Todd there um, I can't remember his name exactly yeah, it probably is Sweeney Todd, right? Sweeney or something. Anyway, they he, they um bring in the rich people to get their hair cut, cut the necks on when they're sat on the chair, and then there's a little hatch. They go get made into meat pies. If you did not know. Actually, goes by the name of Bayman. <laughs> this old of a broker couldn't sell his persona. Only see this bank get compensated when work's over. Turf and kept his bird caged insecure. Still, I've never had a top so insecure. You and my razor are the same in effect, except my blade is What I like as well is that Patrick Bayman is showing basically no reactions to Stupendium. Um, to, to Stupendium's verse, which is what you would very much expect. And a top so insecure. You and my razor are the same in effect, except my blade is sharp when it's a pain in the neck. I'll say look back at your mistake because you're making a mess, but I'm sure that reflection will get Master Bateman erect. Obviously, he's very. Um, <laughs> Master Bateman, very erect. Some lovely wordplay there, wordplay there, Stupendium. Thank you very much for that. Um, and because Mr. Bateman is really interesting. Listen to the new Freshy Canal tape, but this fucking limey won't stop shouting in my ear. This is great. Obviously, in the film, it's all uh, he just self commentary throughout the film on what's going on in his own head, so that's a very clever way of approaching the rap. Trying to listen to the new Freshy Canal tape, but this fucking limey won't stop shouting in my ear. I'm gonna stab a Tim Burden to death. 
until I can taste Sweeney toddler tears. I'm Patrick Bateman. I take it you'll understand. If I keep my gloves on when I'm shaking your hand, you reek of disease and live in people's feces. And yet you're the biggest shit that I've seen on Flint Street. Do you cut your own hair? I can tell. Michael Jackson's Thriller Monster is alive and well. <laughs> I'm liking uh, the delivery from Patrick Bateman. In a sense, I have your life in jail. I'm not behind a cell. Cause I got the Severed and carved, cause you're a terrible barber, till death do us part. Yeah. Stupid fucking bastard, you didn't get very far. Now, let's hear Paul Allen's bar. Paul Allen? Oh, I had him for dinner in London. Oh, I mean, I had dinner with him in London, eh? Gosh, now, love, don't fret or why. Why don't you get inside? Sweeney so says. Whoa, I was not expecting uh, that kind of flow switch right there. Very much appreciated. Uh, this is the person in the film who makes the pies. I cannot remember the name. Is it Mrs. Partridge's Pies? I, I, maybe? Um, but I can't remember the Yeah. Hopefully they say the name so I remember. But, um, yeah. Sweeney Todd, uh, I think that's the barber's name, right? Kills the people. People go down into a meat grinder, basically. And they make the pies. It's a very gruesome film, a very fun film. Now, love, don't fret or whine. Why don't you get inside? Sweeney, set aside a chair and get tonight. Don't play him hard, get a rise. Sweet and sweet and sauce onto the menus. I'm so when I make a wolf of Wall Street a shepherd's pie. My like heart with the sky's heart and my tarts, cause I might bark. Quite the bizarre, this businessman doesn't fit on a pie chart. Oh, you hate women and the homeless. We're the same. Cause they love that lonely Lucy who soon take my toys away. You knew my wife lived. There's only you to blame. Next to Patrick, you're second here to be reduced to flames. As for Bruce Wayne, tell your lawyer you're defeated. The video is actually kind of crazy on this one. Um, and yeah, that's what happened in the films, if you don't know. Rob, I hope your second verse features you as much as your sequel to I'm not for really how I haven't beat her with me kid nearly haven't. He's the only place that he'll be fitting in. Oh my god. A musical that's set in the 19th century. It even features themes of class struggle and poverty. How profoundly unique. And look at that subtle all-white cast. <laughs> yeah, it's a story we've heard before. Well, the context is, but the, the execution of the story, completely different. The chief forced on ya, kept your feelings more reserved than Dorcia. And now your lady's deceased, and she's fighting for disease. But be show up, Barbara's wife, a better facial routine. Check out your place, that's the Stacy who's greater. Either way, you'll end up with your fucking face in newspapers. There's an idea, Sweeney Todd, but he's a mark and a white. Just a husk of a frog who lost his show, wife, and life. Now I've got to return some videotape. Okay, wow. Okay then guys, that's going to be my reaction to the Patrick Bateman vs. Sweeney Todd rap battle featuring the Chupendi Milflex and Maggie Elise, or Ellie's, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, sorry, my, it's my first interaction with you. Um, so yeah, let's start with Chupendium, who was uh, playing Sweeney Todd. What a verse, what two verses even from the Chupendium. Uh, I like the energy he brought <laughs> playing Sweeney Todd, and the video is very gory, which is, um, which is a bonus for me, I like all that stuff. Yeah, uh, Patrick Bateman was also very, very good, played by Little, Little Flex. Uh, they approached it, kind of had it in the film, uh, with the whole kind of voiceovers and stuff as well. Very, very good. But Maggie Elise had, in my opinion, some of the best flows on here, at least. Um, and a tragic end as well. But yeah, that's going to be my reaction to the Patrick Bateman vs. Sweeney Todd Rap Battle of Fresh Chicken Now, Shupendium, Little Flex, Maggie Elise. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers for the end of the year. It's only possible if you're watching this right now. Subscribe, so please do it. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.